Hello guys and welcome to yet another exciting episode in our series Solving Wasipa's Questions. This is your host, Kujo Japon, and I'm glad that you're joining me today. Without much ado, let's bump into what we have today. Now this is Wasi 2017, Elective ICT Paper 3, and as usual, solve three problems in two hours. Now I have to read the instructions as I always emphasize to know what to do. And it all boils down to creating our folder in the drive C. So this is drive C, you look at drive C and then create a folder in here with your initials and your index numbers. So that is mine. And we come back to save our work in here. All right, so back to the problem. We're trying to solve the database problem here, which is question number three. So here we go. A. Using an appropriate database application, create a database and save as data in the folder that we created. So we launch access and we create a database named data. We have to browse to the folder where we created in Drive C. So that is Drive C and the name, my yes, and then we press on OK. So we create that and here we go. We have that created, the file created. Now let's go back to our problem and see what's next in B. So back in B, we are supposed to create the structure for the table above and then we save it as scores. So you have to create this here and then we can do that right away from here. We don't need to change the view to design view or this one. So what you do, ID number, you use tab to move to a different, you use tab to move to a different cell. Now when you hit this, you are supposed to select the data type, which is important. Now looking at the data that we have, you see that they are all basically numbers in no order. So we can just select number to be the data type, and then we can go ahead and fill in the names of these fields. So we have social here. Mm, we have English and we have French. And then the last one called level. Great. So that is basically all. Now we have to change our data type of our primary ID or our primary key because they are not in incremental order. So we just change that to number and everything looks sorted from here. Okay, so next up, what we have to do is to go to problem number B. But before we do that, we have to save our table as scores. So that is our table scores. Now BII. A form that will enable a user to enter the data in scores and save as S form. So you have to create another database object called a form. And then we have to name that as E form. S form, sorry. So we create a form here. Straightforward, this should create a form for us. And then we can change the view to form view where we can input data with it. But before we do, we have to save this form. We have to save it form as S form. So that is being saved. We can launch it here. And then I assume we are supposed to enter our data through this. So that is that for B. Now we go to C. Use the form in 3BII to enter the data as shown in the table above. So here we have it. So up here, we create or we, we just input the data in here. Now you might want to pause here as I'm going to do so that we fill in there to save time and then you resume with me. I hope you're ready from this point. All right, so let's do that. So we have 89, then 90 here. And then one. 
all right so that's that that's it and then we can go ahead and save this so right click and save and see if that was done so that is that so we close our table here try to launch it to see if it is populated and yes it has been populated as we wanted so we we'll move ahead to problem d we create a query to retrieve data from scores and organize it in this format so id number level social french and english in that order so here we're going to do something new today we're going to use sql to create that all right so here we create a query simple query design and this is what we've been presented with now we add as soon as we do that this is what we get sorry all right so we add our table and that is done we go how do we do that with sql so we change view to sql view and this is what we presented with now sql is just a programming language that is basically used in relational databases to manage the data in it writing statements to enforce certain criteria saving creating objects and all that so what we're going to do here is what's the question demand now we're going to start with our sql statement so here we go ahead and then select all the fields that was given us so let's snap this to the left and then bring this to the right now first off we have to select our id number from the field the id number field of course the id number is bounded to the scores field so everything in here whether it's social english everything is bound to this scores table so mind you before we do anything that is how we have to go about it now you see me including a bracket in typing the name of the id this field now it's that id just means that hey this is actually it is a delimiter a delimiter means that we're enforcing everything that in, is included in its name the hyphen whether it's a space and all that so that sql doesn't interpret them as different or see it as a keyword that is reserved in it you get me so anytime you need to just type if it is just a singular word then that is good you just type it as it is but if they are two or bounded by a, a, a a dot or a hyphen or a space all that you have to do is to put that in a bracket i hope that makes sense all right so level we go to social and then the french the french field and then lastly we have our english field so that is it so select these fields from the scores table and that is basically what we need to do here so let's run this and see the query so as the question demanded that's been we have been able to create our query fetching data from our table in this order so we go ahead and save this as the question instructs ro query and we are good to go that is di now dii we have to create another query again for only records in level one and then save it as l1 query so we go ahead create a query yes from our scores table but this case there is something new here and what is new we have been given a condition so what is this condition that we only retrieve records that are pertaining to level one students if you like all right so how do we do that let's change the views to sql and do the same thing but something different this time so we have to select the fields that we need so the id comes first 
the primary key followed by let's bring level next so that we see level one and the rest can follow so the the english the french and social all right so that's that does it for the fields now when you see the semicolon at the end it just means at the end of our statement but we are not done yet so yes we select this field from our table so select this field from the tables course now the condition how do you specify condition we use the keyword where now where what is the condition here the condition is such that any 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 level here that has a value of one should be retrieved that is basically the basic of all this the condition is if our record has a level value of one then we have to retrieve it so that is that but then we have to put this in the syntax how sql the language itself specify so all that we do you should just put the field scores dot level in a bracket and then equal to one outside then we enclose that in another bracket so that is how it looks and let's see if we have any errors here all right so we run this and then truly you see that yes we have been able to only fetch level one students out of our table and yes there are two only two of them with their records being retrieved so that does it for SQL and it is interesting. You might want to have a look at it, read around it and have fun with it. So we save this as L1 query and that is done. Now, the most important part of our work is to verify that our work is indeed in there. So we open and launch our work again, just to make sure that the objects and everything that we did truly are available upon request before we are sure to go to the next question all right everything looks fine everything looks neat that is our query and everything looks fine thank you guys for joining me it has been amazing and entertaining i hope you guys had fun as well thumbs up if you like it drop some comment and let me see what you think and share with your friends thank you and i'll see you in the next video bye